Hello and welcome, or welcome back. I am Heather, and on today's video, it just started raining here. It's really exciting. Um, we haven't had rain in like months. Um, on today's video, which this is kind of out of order, some YouTube challenges and stuff. I did this a little while ago, but I'm just now doing the video. But it's the little kid's vanity. Um, if you remember a little while back, I redid a vanity for my daughter and to replace her old vanity and I have a niece who's right at the perfect age for that vanity. So I talked to her mom and I said, hey, what if I redid this for Avery? And she said, absolutely. They picked out colors and said, you know, whatever you want to do, here are the colors she wants. I was like, okay. And I'm so excited to share it with you. It is can you see the lightning? Anyway, it is so adorable. Uh, my niece absolutely loved it. She was over the moon. So it's a quick little kid slip. But um, I hope you like it. It's really, It was really fun to do. And it was really fun to give to her as a gift. So it's just a quick idea on how you could redo old kid stuff to make it look cool or one of a kind or anything like that. Although I don't think cool is the right word. But I used it anyway. So, stick around and see what Heather did today. Here is the very well-loved vanity. It's small enough for my niece and still in good shape. So the first thing I needed to do is take it apart so I could wash everything really good. See my daughter's car in the background? Her car's nicer than mine. It's fine. Apparently it took a really long time to unscrew that and before I figured out I didn't have to keep unscrewing it. Huh. <laughs> <sighs> If you ever have something like this and the feet get loose, it's always loose. My daughter uses this stool all the time. She's kind of upset that she has to give up this stool. This is a really easy fix. You just tighten the screws. And really what you get is a very nice shot of my arm a lot. But you just take a screwdriver and tighten those screws. And I go through and tighten all of them. I actually had to tighten these regularly while she had this stool anyway. Just because she was a little rough on it. But it held up well. And if you're noticing right there that that looks a little dirty, don't worry. I haven't cleaned it yet. So yes, do that here. Starting by vacuuming it. There was gunk everywhere. It was kind of gross. Kind of gross is the wrong word. It was really gross. But I vacuumed everything out real good, including the drawers, just to make sure I got everything out of the corners. And after vacuuming really well, I scrubbed it clean. See, that went faster. I moved that fast in real life. <laughs> and you can see it's going to be clean now, so it's fine. Um, after I cleaned it, rinse with water, and then let it dry. I use a degreasing cleaner, get all the oils and everything off of it. Since I didn't want to have to sand, I used Dixie Belle's Slick Stick, and this stuff worked really well. I did two coats, and it worked perfect. And in fact, it was so good that I got some on my nail because I didn't wear gloves for the second coat, and it stuck to my nails. Could not get that stuff off. So this stuff worked well. The paint will stick. When I asked my sister-in-law what color she wanted, they picked out Lucky Lavender. 
by Dixie Belle. And then the pink she left up to me, I went with tea rose. Well, she either wanted tea rose or pink champagne. And I decided on tea rose. I wasn't really sure about it. I was like, oh, I don't know. But I ended up loving it with the lavender. It's gorgeous. Here, I'm just going through. I'm actually doing a little test on it to kind of decide what I want. But I just have a little brush, spritz it with water, and then brush it on. It was really good coverage with one coat. Um, you know, considering that it's covering up, what it's covering up. But um, this is just, like I said, this is a test. What do I want it to look like? And this was before it got really hot here. So I had plenty of time to work before my paint dried on me. It was wonderful. As you can see, one of my ideas was to blend on the edges and I'm trying to see how I like it. Okay, so I'm gonna ask your opinion. Come here, I need your opinion. Okay, so here's what it would look like with the edges done, okay? Here's if I blend it, although I would blend the pink a little bit more up so we'd see more pink up here. Okay. Okay, so which do you think you like better? I like this one. You like the blended better? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will do that. Thank you for your help. You're I really appreciate that. You're so here I am painting everything lavender, painting the frame for the mirror out of frame. I paint really fast though, so it's okay. Um, and when you're painting, if your brush starts to drag a li little, just spritz the brush or your surface and it will make it go a little bit smoother. And this was also, this was before it got really hot, right? So I'm out here working. My daughter set up a little painting office just behind this one I was talking to earlier. So she was painting, I was painting, it was a lot of fun. And I couldn't quite decide where to put the purple at first, but I decided I didn't want to blend up higher. I wanted more pink. So I'm doing this section of the legs here. And then I painted the main part of the vanity and to get the kind of the same as I'd done the stool. And to get the details, I just used a small artist brush to get in there. Did that, did the little edges right here. I don't know if you saw my daughter in the background for a second. That's her, she had a sign and everything for her painting office. And it's all gonna be painted. This is what it looked like after the purple was done. And then did the pink and I moved inside for the blending because it was getting kind of warm outside. Not too hot, just warmer. And this is all ready to blend. I probably should have blended on the second coat, but I didn't, but it ends up looking good anyway. All right, so you can see where I'd practice. The key here is spritzing plenty. And you want to have wet paint so you can blend it. You can't blend dry paint. So I just added some of the lavender in there with a second brush. I added the pink, sorry, the tea rose. And then I have a third 
neutral brush for blending. And I'd spritz everything, just make sure it stays wet so I can blend it. And then I took my brush and went back and forth first. And then I just started going like in all directions to mix the paint and get a look. You get a really good shot of my arm there. That's very helpful. I need to work on that. And anywhere, like there's too much pink in the center. So I'll blend it and then I'll add a little bit more purple. Yeah, I really should have thought about how I was setting up that camera. So I decided it was too much pink. I wanted more purple in the center. So I added the purple and then blended some more. And I think this is what the thing about blending is. It is actually pretty forgiving. Like just paint over it and fix it. As long as your paint will stay wet. You can blend it, you can just paint over it and fix it and blend more. So I had blended too much and I didn't have a distinct, two distinct colors on the top still. So I should add it a little bit more. I do have a towel that I wipe my neutral brush on. So if I get too much paint, I can just wipe it off to keep blending. And after I got the top the way I liked it, I did the same thing. I was trying to do like a little shape. <laughs> I've got to figure out where to put my camera apparently. I was trying to do like a little shape, but then the space I was working in was so small that you couldn't tell. So that's okay. There's my brush. And just move the paint brush back and forth. Side to side, up and down, whatever to get the blending the way I want it. And I really love the way this looked. So I decided to do it on the mirror too, with just like a hint of the pink in the center. And it was a perfect choice. I actually even went back and did that on the drawer fronts. Just a little bit of, I don't know, difference. So. It ended up looking really good. So you see on this one, like I left it mostly purple. It's just a hint of the pink color. Now you already saw the inside of the drawers, but I did this. I had to. She needs glitter. So I just took this Krylon glitter paint. It's a rose gold color. And just painted the insides of the drawers. I painted them the tea rose color first and then spray painted them. But I'm, that may not have been necessary. I did use a clear coat over these just to make sure like there was something over the glitter wasn't just glitter but I did glitter in a lot of spots just as a little a little touch of shimmer but look how pretty that is it shimmers look at that sparkle I didn't record me top coating it because of course I didn't but I used a I think it was a cry long clear coke so I was trying to use up what I had anyway I got one little drip here I just sanded it wiped it down and then sprayed over it real carefully not to get any drips again and it looked fine so 
If you do get drips, don't panic. You can sand them out gently and then you can fix it. Also, the better plan would just be to not go crazy with the paint in the first place and not get drips. But um, I used a higher grit the first time and then, nope, a lower grit the first time and then went up to a higher grit to get it smooth. Notice on the drawers, oh, I found these knobs. I decided to replace them because the other ones were boring. I did have to trim them. You can see that's way too long. It's just gonna be in the way. So I just took a little saw and cut them down. And my nails are chipped. <gasps> but it's okay, I changed my nails, I fixed them. Notice the drawers, they're a little bit of blending, but it's just like a hint. Kind of like on the mirror, it's not, it's just a hint. And this big center drawer is done differently than the two little drawers. And the knobs, oh my gosh, they were so cute. They were the perfect color. If I could get them attached, it'd be even better. When putting this back in, it was a little bit of a tight fit because of the paint, but that's all it was. That paint just made it a little bit snugger. And the mirror is plastic, so it is still kind of scratched and I couldn't get it perfect, but the frame it's in looks fabulous, so it's all fine. And we're just about done. All I have to do now is finish this and then reattach the mirror. I know I didn't show you how I blended the drawers or the main part of the vanity, but it was, you know, a lot like the mirror and the stool. Just a lot of back and forth and spraying and blending the paint. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the things. It helps my channel and helps me grow. And just a reminder, here is the vanity we started with. It's not bad, but it's basic. And I know the staging isn't very good, but check this out. Oh my goodness. Yay. I love it. I can't wait to give it to my niece. What do you think about that color combo? Oh my goodness. And you don't get to see your face, but it's this not the cutest she had the hugest smile on her face she immediately went to go get her makeup to fill up the drawers she was squealing and jumping it was absolutely worth it her baby sister wanted her turn it was wonderful as always thanks for watching don't forget to hit all the buttons and we'll see you next time